Hello, friends. Uh, excited about the topic, uh, what we'll be discussing uh, today. And it is about uh, quitting. It is about uh, people not being successful or you not being successful or I not being successful in uh, the business venture. So why do people quit businesses? And uh, we'll talk about uh, any business, you know, uh, even uh, in network marketing or any other business, uh, you know, you are in, why people quit the business and um, why the success ratio, okay, of uh, failure to success. What is a failure that also the definition probably is, is not that clear as well because no one can tell you a failure until you are out of the game, okay? You quit or you file with bankruptcy. Otherwise, you know, you haven't failed until, until you know, you, uh, you are at it and you are working towards your success. But anyways, so why do people you know, quit the business, okay? Or uh, the success statistics, as they say, that people become dormant or businesses become dormant. So why does that happen? Let's uh, understand it. Uh, let me just share my screen and we will share some slides here, okay? So why businesses or, you know, why people quit and never um, get successful in network marketing business or any other business for that matter, network marketing business, just an example, okay? So let's take the examples of network marketing business for a specific, the first point is very appropriate for network marketing business, which is low price of entry, okay? So you can get started into a network marketing business uh, without you know, much of a significant investment. So what does that mean? So that means uh, unlike any other business, uh, you uh, want to raise uh, venture capital funding or uh, you, know, you want to take a bank loan to start your own business or uh, you, know, you take loan from your friends and family members, not in network marketing business. Okay, so network marketing business could be started uh, by kind of anyone, to be honest. Uh, some network marketing companies may have some startup cost, but most of uh, the network marketing company do not have any startup cost. Um, or even if there is a startup cost, uh, it's uh, not in thousands, it's uh, all in hundreds, uh, you know, or even less than that in dollar term. Okay. So because of the low price of entry, people, uh, you know, if you would have invested a lot of money in um, starting a business of your own, just imagine you would have invested around a million, if not a million dollar, let's say a hundred thousand dollars, okay, uh, in your own business, what would you do? You, you can't quit the business, okay? You just have to make sure that you recover at least, uh, you know, you break even, at least you, uh, whatever you have invested, you, you get it back, okay? There's a huge uh, sum of money at stake. Now in uh, network marketing business, because the, uh, the funding or, uh, you know, you haven't funded that much or that is no uh, kind of an, a no or very low investment, um, so that is, uh, you know, uh, that is no seriousness, okay? Most of the people, they take this business as a hobby, Okay, okay, we'll see if, uh, you know, it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, that's up, that's fine. Okay, just imagine anything you take it as a hobby, anything you do not take, uh, you know, you do not, uh, you know, put your mind and uh, soul into it. That is very highly unlikely, you know, chance that you will be successful. That means uh, even if you are not invested, you haven't invested a lot of money, the only way you can be successful in network marketing business is uh, for you to, um, mentally, you know, just to trick your mind and mentally believe and start to believe or just assume that you have invested $100,000 in your own business. When you have that mindset, you will do whatever it takes to get the money back. Okay. You will uh, work your ass off. Okay. But when the uh, low uh, point of entry is there and you see that, okay, I, I haven't invested anything. Okay, what's the heck, man? I just don't want to do anything and, you know, there is no harm. So you must think of what am I going to lose instead of thinking of uh, what I'm going to gain out of it. Okay, so that is kind of, I think, is the biggest thing in network marketing business because of the low point of entry, low price of entry, people... 
um, believe that it's uh, it's easy peasy and uh, you know they can come out of it uh, in a real quick. Now, don't take me wrong. That is also for a lot of people that is uh, a boon. That it is it is a blessing. Why is it a blessing that if someone has been looking for an opportunity for a long time, and uh, you know the the uh, the barrier of entry was the money or a huge investment, and if that person comes across and sees uh, you know a business opportunity like network marketing where you know is barely any investment, what happens? And that person will be very much excited. So it's a kind of a, it's both way. Someone who is really looking for a business opportunity for him or her, this is really good um, uh, opportunity for someone who is uh, just wanted to you know dip dip his uh, toe and just wanted to see how it goes. Well, you know you cannot dip your toe into a swimming pool and uh, you know learn how to um, how to swim or uh, you know you will never be able to learn swimming okay so if you are just starting your network marketing business or any business for that matter you just have to get into it dip into it and uh, start to learn the um, business secrets uh, learn how the business operates and that is the only way you can grow in the business okay so it's just a matter of getting in start to learn and then grow so low price of entry is one of the biggest thing why people feel like, okay, there is, um, you know, nothing to lose. Okay, I don't want to do anything. Okay, so that is um, uh, one of the major reasons. Second thing is employee mindset. Okay, if you carry, okay, your employee mindset to your network marketing business. Okay, uh, what, what do I mean by net employee mindset? Employee mindset, uh, meaning after we finish most of the people, okay, uh, after uh, fin after finishing college or university, what they do, they start to uh, start working for someone. Okay, they uh, they look for employment opportunity, unless uh, you know you are um, you are a school dropout and uh, you you know you started um, you know a business of your own, uh, just like um, uh, you know um, Mark Zuckerberg of uh, Facebook did or uh, you know Bill Gates did. Uh, you could you could uh, do that other, but that's that's not many. Okay, that's very very few people. Even Elon Musk as well also did that. Okay, so because these people they are so entrepreneurial, they don't see any reason why they should continue studying. Because study means uh, you know the reason why you study is to get a job, and uh, they could see that uh, there's an opportunity. And why do you need to get a job? Is to make income, make money. When they see that, you know, just by they see a tremendous opportunity in front of them and say, okay, uh, to heck with the studies, you know, I uh, I could put that kind of time in, uh, you know, building something. I saw an opportunity here, and if I could make money out of it, then uh, you know, why do I need to study? Okay, so that is what you know goes in their in their mind. So. But for those, uh, you know, bigger community of people or larger uh, population of people who are, who prefer uh, employment or, uh, you know, employee mindset, uh, you know, uh, they, they carry the employee mindset. So what is employee mindset? Now, the big uh, thing about employee mindset, which is very different than uh, an entrepreneurial mindset or entrepreneur mindset is uh, delayed gratification, okay? What is it? Delayed gratification. What is delayed gratification? Delayed gratification means uh, in an employment, you, you are working because you know for sure that at the end of the month, you will be paid. You are, you are going to make that money. So you could see that uh, you know, money right away, okay? So today you worked or you know for sure that you will be paid for that day. Um, or you work for a month and you are paid. So at least in a permanent employment, uh, you have, may have to wait for a month. You know, there are people out there, you know, who um, work, uh, you know, like kind of a, a daily wages. They are on a daily wage uh, and uh, they are paid on a daily basis as well. Okay. So whatever that may be, employee mindset, uh, you know, we learn about um, uh, having that, uh, putting the efforts and right away getting the reward for that effort. But in a in a um, uh, entrepreneurial uh, field or when you become an entrepreneur, that is not the case. Okay, any businesses for that matter. Okay, they have to wait. You know, businesses have to wait for 
so many years to become profitable. Okay. Um, take the example of Amazon. Amazon did not report any profit for more than 10 years. Okay. Can you imagine that kind of, uh, you know, waiting time? But they knew that they are doing something. They are reinvesting whatever their money they are making. They are reinvesting in their own business. And then, you know, suddenly it became such a huge company and started to make profit and then, uh, you know, um, became a trillion dollar company. Okay. So, so you have to understand that, uh, you know, businesses are not, you know, uh, built, uh, you know, in such a way that you, you, uh, you know, created a website of your own or, uh, you know, you just started a business today, uh, a domain name, you, you bought a domain name or, uh, you know, something you just started today and tomorrow, you, you know, the money will start to pour in. Okay. That's not the case. So you have to uh, be patient. Okay, you have to uh, put the efforts and because why this businesses uh, um, cannot um, make you money right away is business is just an asset for you. Okay, so you are building an asset when you are working in an employment working for somebody else, you are building somebody else asset. Okay, what is an asset? Asset means that, uh, you know, you, um, uh, you build something, you know, there's something which uh, makes you income out of the efforts what what you had put uh, years before okay that keeps keeps uh, you know paying you okay and uh, so you you can invest your money or you can invest in your time but as it is something uh, you know you get a return uh, on your investment uh, over and over again uh, for a longer duration of time so that is what businesses are all about guys uh, you know in in any business you set up uh, you know you have to have the um, you know, mindset of uh, delaying your gratification. That means you're delaying the reward, what you'll be getting out of it. So you have to slog, you have to work, okay? A sleepless night. So, you know, welcome to the world of entrepreneurship, okay? Um, but uh, thank God in a network marketing business, uh, you do not have to give up your job, okay? You do not have to leave your family commitments or other thing to, you know, start your network marketing business. This is something you can build, you can start along with your other commitments, uh, you know, in, in your job, in your family commitments or any other professional commitments as well, okay? So, but very important is employee mindset uh, as opposed to entrepreneur mindset, okay? So that means employee, you just have to give up on that, uh, that employee mindset is not going to work in your um, business venture. You have to have that mindset um, of, hey, I'm building, an asset, building a business empire, I'm building something which uh, will pay me over and over again, okay? And it requires time, it's just like a big building, you know, you have to put your structure together, it takes a lot of time, you know, to put a foundation, and then it keeps growing, uh, you know, you can just uh, add on the floors after floors, and, uh, you know, it uh, just, uh, uh, you know, become a skyscraper at no time. So that is quite important for you to understand now the mindset of employment as opposed to the mindset of um, you know businesses of or entrepreneurship. Now let's move on to the next one is um, you know peer and family influence. Okay, what is the difference between um, peer and family influence? So if you start a business of your own, then what happens? Um, you just go and. Uh, probably you are wide excited and in a network marketing business because a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people or most of the companies uh, you know and the teachings of the the business organizations are like you know you go and approach your near and dear ones first okay your friends and family members and guess what happens when you go and talk to your friends instead of them encouraging and clapping and uh, you know uh, cheering for you what do they say they will start to laugh at you Hey, you just got sucked into that network marketing business. You just got sucked into that MLM thing, you know, that chain thing, that pyramid thing. So people will start to tell you that. Okay. Now, when you're, because why does that happen? In anything you do, which is unconventional, what is conventional? Conventional is to find a job, get a job and do that for the rest of your life, 40, 50 years. And that's it. Okay. Conventional. <laughs> But unconventional is uh, putting yourself on risk. Businesses, are they risky? Oh, absolutely. Okay, it comes with a lot of risk. A risk of losing your capital, a risk of, uh, you know, um, just uh, not able to create or build the market what you always wanted to. 
So businesses do come with risk, and which uh, you know, if you are risk averse, then probably, and you about you also want to make money. I think network marketing business is the right business for you. Why? Because you, if as you are not investing a substantial amount of money, there is no uh, no no risk at all. Um, because you are not leaving your job to do this business, there is no risk at all because you're still keeping your job, you're keeping that income um, uh, going as well. So, um, you know, when you talk to your friends and family members, uh, you know, uh, in order for you to, um, you know, talk to them, uh, to talk them into the business, so that means you want them to be your part of your network or you want to sell them some products. And that is where you know the the you know influencing the things comes in. That means uh, instead of your friends and family members encouraging you most of the time, you know they may they may discourage you. Okay, why? Because the, whatever you believe in, your friends may not believe in the same thing. Your family members may not believe in the same thing. Okay, so why? Because everyone is different. Uh, you know, in even in and um, you know, I was reading somewhere even um, Bill Gates. Uh, you know. When he um, just uh, you know started his um, that uh, business idea of Microsoft uh, Corporation, even his dad was not that excited um, about him uh, you know starting something, and he didn't believe it. But Bill Gates did, did believe in it. And uh, you must have heard about um, you know Jeff uh, Jeff Bezos' story about uh, him uh, you know while he was working in uh, one of the big um, investment banking company in, in New York. Um, that was the time when uh, you know the idea of Amazon came. And um, he, he just discussed with his, uh, with his manager there at the investment banking company. And his manager said, look, Jeff, uh, you, know, you are one of the highest paid and youngest employee of our company. And uh, had anyone else uh, come to me and uh, told me about this idea of uh, selling books uh, you know, online, uh, you know, I could have just agreed or I could have just encouraged, but you, you are, uh, you know, such a brilliant and, uh, you know, brilliant employee, and you coming to me and telling about it, I, I don't think it's a good idea. But I would like you to sleep over it, okay? Just, uh, just think about it uh, seriously. Okay, just imagine that. So he didn't believe, even though his, um, his manager, uh, you know, he respected them uh, quite a lot uh, during that, uh, that phase. But that was Jeffrey's uh, life anyway. Okay, so he, he wanted to. Uh, try it because he never wanted to live a life of regret. Okay, so exactly the same way you start something, even if not network marketing business, even if any other business you start. Okay, you cannot expect uh, all your friends and family members uh, to support you. Okay, They're to believe you. Okay, hey, that's that's fine. That's your life. You have to you know go for whatever you believe is is right. Okay, and uh, then uh, you know see for it because in a network marketing business, what is that to lose anyway? Okay, just uh, you know. Um, probably you hardly had invested any money, so why don't you try and see, okay, uh, what harm uh, you know you will you will have, uh, you know what was the harm in trying something, okay, which uh, without any any uh, risk of uh, losing your job or without any risk of uh, even capital, okay. So you have to very much understand that whenever if somebody you know you are talking to your friends, you are talking to your family members about the business to get them into the business. I don't know. In a provided business, uh, the getting them in is a uh, is always been used, into, you know, which I kind of you know do not like that terminology. But hey, you know, if you want to enroll them in your network marketing business, and you are approaching them, if they instead of you getting them into your business, and if they are trying to get you out of the business, that's really sad. Okay, a lot of people do that as well. Okay, and I have seen in my organization as well, uh, you know. Um, the people, uh, you know, uh, after they launch in their business, um, suddenly they disappear. Okay, suddenly they stop answering the phone calls. Has it ever happened to you? Hopefully, you know, or I don't hope, but I am I'm sure that it must have happened. It could have uh, been in this business for some time. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have, uh, you know, um, uh, gone through the numbers and you've spoken to quite a few people, okay, it ha it does happen. And uh, so instead of uh, you know you listening to them, you have to very much you have to understand that uh, instead of me listening, I should be uh, um, you know I should be guiding them through so that you know if uh, yes I am asking them or I'm uh, checking their interest about the business or the products, if uh, they are not interested, that should not deter me from uh, you know pursuing my dream. Okay, 
If your dream is to be an entrepreneur, your dream is to be financially free, that's your dream. So you, you, they should not uh, stop you. And the last but not the least is the lack of skill set and knowledge. Okay, a lot of people, they start the business, they have the attitude, okay, network marketing business you start, you have the attitude that I know everything. Okay, that is really sad. Okay, what does that mean? So you start a network marketing business with an attitude that you know everything, okay? Um, to be honest, I had that attitude as well for a long duration of time. I said, okay, this business is nothing, you know, I just have to uh, get started into the business register and then uh, I just um, talk to other people and then get them into the business. I just sign them up, that's it, okay? And then I ask them to buy the products. That's what the business is. So I get them uh, into my business and ask them to order the products, okay? Now, if this is as simple as that, it, uh, probably, you know, or everyone would be successful in network marketing business. Why there are very few people who are successful? It's because uh, very few people take the efforts of learning and equipping them themselves with the skill set, with the knowledge, okay? And, uh, and uh, you know, once they are equipped with the knowledge, the information, and uh, then they subsequently they go ahead and uh, build the business. So it's very important that lack of, uh, you know, skill set, okay? You should never believe that, you know, you know everything about the business. Why? Because just understand the job, you know, which you are at, okay? Whatever you are doing, even in a small, you know, uh, if, even if you are working as, uh, you know, I don't know, in a superstore, okay? In a superstore, you are just scanning you know, um, at, um, at the counter, you know, like uh, scanning products and then you are just, uh, you know, um, uh, selling uh, the, the products there, okay? So for that as well, there is a bit of a knowledge, uh, you know, sharing session or somebody has to tell you to teach you, okay? Um, uh, at, at, the, at the machine or how do you handle that machine or, you know, that, uh, that teller, what you'll be, you'll be handling um, and how do you, um, you know, uh, take care of it, okay? If there is, uh, you know, anyone anyone who comes in and they want to, they demand the money, what, how exactly you address, uh, you know, that situation as well, okay? So every every little thing, you know, they, 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 they teach you, okay? So the education and learning is important, but just understand in a network marketing business, that's a lot of aspects of the business, okay? You have to learn, okay? What are the uh, uh, things you need to know? Well, you have to learn how to talk to people, what to, what to say, what not to say when you are talking to talking to the people. How can you influence other people? Okay, how can how can you answer their objection, the questions? If somebody has a genuine question, how do you answer those questions? A certain objection. If somebody says that is this a pyramid, how do you address that question? If somebody says that I don't have any time. Okay, but maybe a genuine objection because that person doesn't have payment. How do you address that? Okay, so you have to understand how do you build organizations? If you register someone in, what do you do next with that person? How do you lead that person to the next step of this business? Okay, how do you build a team? How do you hold the team together? Okay, because individuals are just like free radicals. If you register people here and there, you may have 10, 100 different people, but that's not a team. You have to build a team. Okay, and the team building or building an organization. Okay, in in um, uh, as a CEO of, of a company, probably the organizational uh, the organization building skill set. Uh, you know, is uh, one of the most important skill set of any senior executive. Okay, that's what they mean. So, organization building and uh, communication. Okay, so you have to learn these techniques of communication. How do you communicate? Uh, with your or downlines, uh, your uh, you know people in your organization, okay. The or the um, communication is the most important skill you have to learn, okay. Probably you never had to learn that in your uh, in your job. You have to learn it from uh, in here. How do you become a leader? How do you lead a team of people? Because eventually, network marketing is nothing but uh, as it's a leadership driven business. You become the leader of your own organization. You help and lead other people, and you then uh, train, teach, and train other people to become leaders. Okay, so these are the skill set which you it requires a lot of uh, you know observation, a uh, lot of reading by you, and uh, counseling and uh, consultation with your growing upline and a business mentor. 
uh, or going through the um, um, coachings, uh, you know, um, available in in the business. So you have to learn, guys. If you believe or you think that okay, I don't need to learn anything. Okay, another very basic skill set is um, um, uh, marketing skills. Okay, because a lot of people I I see that they believe or for uh, for that matter for a long duration of time I used to think that once I adjust my um, or once I go through or talk to my friends and family members my business is done now okay if none of your my friends join the business that means you know I don't have any scope to grow my business so these are the things which I had to learn guys you know that any business even a small uh, you know um, uh, small shop, okay, and, and dealing with uh, you know small little shop, I you know you say the corner shop, okay, any shop on um, on the uh, you know on the market if you see, okay, um, so they have to learn, okay, they have to they have to understand, they have to learn, they have to they have to know the um, uh, the skill set, okay, how do I how do we market the products, okay, in our business. Uh, you know, so why a lot of people don't believe and uh, you know they believe that okay talking to their friends and family members is the only way they can expand the business that is the least most of the people if you see in this business who are already successful in this business their majority of their you know business came out of the people who they did not know before yes there are maybe few of your friends and family members uh, you know in your business i am not denying that fact but majority of uh, the network marketers, which I know for sure, and in my case as well, I have seen that uh, hardly any of my friends, close friends or family members ever believed in this business or they got started or uh, you know they, they continued in this business. All my friends, they started, but ne never continued in this business. Okay, So that is something you have to be very careful about as well, that you have to learn, okay, what do you need to learn? What is a marketing funnel? How do I uh, leverage social media to grow my business? Okay, so these are in the in the era or in the age of internet. If uh, you think that uh, you know the uh, only friends and family members uh, are the one which are your potential business partners or customers, you are completely wrong. Okay, you have to understand learn the skills. Okay, even face to face. I know how how will you connect contact with other people. Uh, you know. Uh, face to face uh, while you are shopping, you know, um, you you meet or you see someone very sharp or sharp looking, you know, sharply dressed. You know, you can have a conversation. How do you start a conversation? So these are all, everything are been covered in this book, uh, Lost Leadership. Uh, if you haven't got uh, got hold of a copy of this book, uh, which is available uh, to you, you can get hold of a copy of this book completely free by joining our. Again, free Facebook group, um, and I will will talk about that uh, in in a minute as well. Uh, but all the information you will uh, you know you will capture it's all been captured here. You learn from it. Okay, so now you understand about um, why most of the people quit the business or they never become successful in the business. But you must be thinking, okay, uh, okay probably it is unique to uh, network marketing. What my answer to that question is, it is not unique to network marketing. Anything for that matter, if you, if you do. For example, Euro, US Bureau of uh, Labor Statistics shows, okay? What it shows that real estate, we are talking about real estate agents, okay? Now, they are not network marketing, real estate agents. Let's talk about, okay, a lot of people think of real estate, a lot of money there that we made, okay? What is their average income? $45,000, so 45999 you can say $46,000 is the average. And one tenth of real estate agents earn less than $23,000. Less than $20,000, one tenth. And another one tenth only, only one tenth, another one tenth. So they are, um, uh, they make more than $110,000. Now, the statistics, what does it show to you? Okay. That means, uh, you know, you're looking at that only 10%, uh, you know, make her more a six figure income. Well, probably, you know, um, a real estate agent uh, license, uh, you know, that's not for me then probably. So anything you do, okay, you'll always find the statistics, not only network marketing, not only real estate, uh, you know, not only in, uh, you know, property business or, you know, 
um, digital marketing business, any business you see, you, there will always be statistics like this, okay? There will always be very minority or very few people who are dedicated, who are really serious about the business, they will be the one who will make it happen, okay? Now, if you see uh, Fundera, you know, the statistics, uh, you know, what it, the, their statistics shows, they can, again, they do a lot of research on startups and all. So they say that 20% of small businesses, so, you know, fail in their first year itself. So that means one fifth, okay, 20%, one fifth, they fail in the first year itself, okay. The year they start, they fail, okay. And it says finally 70% of small business owners fail in their 10th year as per Fundera statistics. Okay, 70% fail. That means only 30% uh, you know, survive uh, uh, beyond 10, 10th year. Okay. Now, there are some you know, uh, other end of the strategy as well, like, like uh, Inc. Magazine says that why 96% of businesses fail within 10 years. Probably 96% is something which is a bit of an exaggeration, uh, I would say. But hey, these are the statistics. That means it is not only in network marketing business, any business for that matter, if you see this average will always work out the same. There will be very few people who will be top earners, very few people uh, you know, who will make it big in this business. And what, what does it take uh, you know, to become successful again in a two marketing business? It's the seriousness. It is your ability to pursue, your ability um, you know, to equip yourself with the knowledge and information, whatever is needed for you to grow in this business. Okay, that is what uh, you, know, you, you have to, dedicate yourself uh, you know in okay and now let's understand uh, let's uh, then go back and uh, you know see that if you want to learn more okay there is a three days again a uh, boot camp we are organizing a free three days a boot camp okay where you will not only learn but you'll have hands-on okay uh, knowledge about how you can grow your network marketing business we'll do it together first day will be dedicated uh, with uh, mechanics will teach about how do you set goals, uh, you know, how you can force your mind and, uh, you know, attract, uh, you know, everything, whatever you wanted in your, uh, in your business. So we'll talk about, uh, you know, the goal setting strategies and game planning, and we'll talk briefly about, about marketing strategies as well, so that it opens your mind up about pull marketing, push marketing. Okay. Day two will be more on a business. How, how do we get started into the, into the business? And, uh, you know, we'll talk, talk about how do you find and identify people and uh, you know how do you talk to them what are the questions they ask and how do you uh, address those questions we'll discuss about that in day 2 and the day 3 we'll discuss about the advanced strategies of connecting people uh, and i will uh, discuss about uh, the mechanics of building depth and building um, building your business wide and how do you develop leaders so this is again uh, you know it's completely uh, you know free uh, three days boot camp so you can you can um, once you join our free facebook group you will not only get the free um, book which i just showed you launched leadership uh, you know um, uh, that book which uh, um, you know has an in-depth knowledge which you can you can refer anytime you want uh, you know it should help you in your own business but you will also get when you join this free facebook group uh, you know you can um, you can join the boot camp as well next boot camp you'll join but uh, you know we will have in this uh, Facebook uh, uh, group. You know we have these uh, trainings. Uh, you know weekly question and answer sessions. Uh, we have monthly challenges. We'll have uh, you know uh, twice a week. We do that on Wednesdays and uh, Sundays. Uh, you know uh, bring your prospect webinar where you can invite your prospects and they can attend the pre pre uh, you know business presentation which I do and uh, one of uh, I me or one of our uh, the colleagues will do that. But uh, you know you can bring in your prospects. They see the business opportunity. They connect back to you, and you can sign them up. Uh, you know as your business partner. So how cool is that? Okay. So we'll have monthly challenges, just like the way we discuss about the three days challenge we are starting now, and free business tools. Okay, and journals you can download. Okay, um, you have a lot of resources out there. You can everything is free as well, and uh, you get the help from fellow network marketers in the group. Okay, other people. Okay. You have a question, you can ask them there. Exclusive members only offers online events and offline events, what we are having, uh, okay, in person as well. You can come and attend our uh, events as well. And we have also starting, we are starting a book club, okay, where you empower yourself with, with all the books and uh, you know, education materials. You start to learn 
and you can share it you know in a in a book club i know your wisdom your knowledge and everyone will be empowered by by whatever you are learning and this is one way you can force yourself so to join the facebook group uh, you know that link will be there in um, you know in the description um, you know just check the description but it is on the facebook dot com groups launch to leadership that is the other group which you can you can also join okay so with that uh, we are done hopefully i added some value to you understand now um, you know the uh, why people quit and how you can also or uh, reduce the likelihood of people quitting your business just by educating them and just by letting um them know the reasons okay you can share with them this video so that they can empower themselves as well okay don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, you know let's uh, you know grow the business together let's make some money together that i'm done and see you in the facebook group bye bye